just be out with us to charming Aveiro, Portugal. While staying there for four days, we created a complete Aveiro travel guide and our first impressions of Aveiro. The links to those videos are already in the description below. In this video, we want to share with you top 10 best things to do while visiting Aveiro. Just be out with us. The most popular thing to do here in Aveiro is boat ride on right on this boat these boats are called maliceiro and they used to be used to transport kelp or seaweed for or that was used for fertilization and this boat rides go out really often every 15 minutes and the ride is for 45 minutes and it is very affordable it is only 13 euros per person it takes you around different canals and it makes a few stops around the city so while you're doing this boat ride there is a tour guide either in portuguese or in english that will tell you more about aveiro and uh, more history and ev all the attractions that you're passing by another boat tour that you can take is on that orange boat right behind me it's called mercantel and the tour is the same and it costs the same but it's just a different type of boat mercantel boats used to be used to transport salt so maliceira right here is uh, um, more beautiful it, it is painted with different designs and mercantel are just more simpler and they are also bigger if you don't want to take any of these Boat tours, what you can do is actually just walk around the city. It is beautiful and there are so many bridges. It's just really a great view just to stroll around the city looking at the amazing buildings and bridges. The second most popular attraction in Aveiro or things to do is the Tuk Tuk ride and they're very affordable. A half an hour ride on this Tuk Tuk right here is only seven euros and 50 cents for a half an hour ride and they will take you around uh, the most popular attractions here in Aveiro and this price is per person and you can also get a combo of a boat ride and tuk-tuk ride for only 15 euros per person can you believe there are actually free bicycles here in Aveiro all you need to do is come to Buga station which is located right next to Forum Mall. You give your passport information and you can ride them for two hours and bring them right back. This bicycle station is open from 9 a.m. till 5.45 p.m. And in two hours you can pretty much explore the entire city or go to the farthest point. If you don't want to walk to the uh, salt pans, you can take the bicycle or take the bicycle and go to the train station. So the return process is pretty simple. You come in. You dock your bike, you walk into the office, you pick up the actual form that you filled out when you initially came. This form, they don't hold your information because it does have your passport information. So you, they give you back this form and you're on your way. If you don't come to Aveiro by train, be sure to make time to visit the old train station. It is absolutely beautiful. It recently has been restored and the new train station is right next to it. If you enjoy strolling through the park, Aveiro got you covered as well. Just a quick 15 minute walk from the city center, you can find Infante Dom Pedro Park, or as the locals also call it, Park the Macaca uh, or the Monkey Park. And the reason why they call it the Monkey Park is because years ago there was a, a monkey, wild monkey living in this park. The monkey is not here anymore, but the park is really beautiful. There are ponds, there is a treetop walk, this beautiful walk with columns. There is a, a plenty of shade. You can bring some food for a, your picnic or just enjoy walking around just a quick 18 minute walk from the city center or a quick free bike ride away from the city center you can come to this marina salt museum yes i know it just looks like a field with water but this is actually considered a museum as i mentioned before avero is really big on salt mining and this is just a portion of their salt 
pants and it just looks like dirty crusty water so if we just get closer and grab some of this crystallized salt it's really cool how it forms and throughout this museum you will find uh, uh, posters uh, and boards where you can read in English more about the salt production here it is amazing how salt forms into this perfect cubes perfect crystals and you can see there are layers inside this tiny cubes as well this is the store is called Pixinos and this is the oldest Overschmolsch store the direct translation of Overschmolsch the Aveiro is soft eggs of Aveiro and they were invented here in Monasterio de Jesus or Monastery of Jesus when nuns used to use egg whites to to uh, press their clothes and they had a lot of eggs egg yolks leftovers so they decided to make desserts out of just egg yolks so what they would do is they would beat egg yolks with sugar and bake them but in the 19th century portugal started closing all their uh, church and religion institutions and this dessert started to be passed to different bakeries so the first bakeries of aveiro started producing overschmolsch for just regular public originally it was made here in aveiro that's why overschmolsch is known to be from Aveiro. Now that you know the first bakery that started selling Overschmolsch, you can actually come to a workshop and learn how it's being made. It actually takes three day days to make Overschmolsch and you can participate in the second day of making Overschmolsch which consists of filling the custard inside the molds, the waffle molds. And it is done here in Oficina do Doce. You do have to make an appointment, especially if you need English uh, guide. They offer three languages, Portuguese, English, and French. And it is a must to make a reservation. And it is very affordable. It is only three euros and 90 cents per person. The workshop takes about anywhere from from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. You will learn more about the history of Overschmolsch, all the process of making it, and also participate in making it, and try Overschmolsch as well. Aveiro is located on the coast of at the Atlantic Ocean, and one of the things to do here during summer is come to the beach. Costa Nova and Vara are two popular beaches here in Aveiro. They're located right next to each other. You can walk from the end of one beach and go to the end of the other beach. There is a lighthouse at the end of Vara Beach. The sand is really fine and powdery. And it is very soft and it's super wide. There is no shade here on the beach uh, most people bring their own umbrellas but there are also uh, a small area where you can uh, find umbrellas for rent as well and there is a really nice boardwalk stretches alongside the entire beach oh actually two beaches which is what we're walking on right now so the sand is to our left the beach is to our left and the sand banks is, uh, is to our right so it's really nice as Irina said just to kind of get from one part of the beach to the next without actually struggling these picturesque colorful buildings behind me are another reason to come to Costa Nova at any time of the year really and they used to be fishermen's homes back in the days as i mentioned before aveiro was originated as a fisherman villages so when the fishermen would come here to sleep over to fish and in order to identify their homes they would paint them with colorful stripes designs uh, white and blue white and red and yellow all different colors 
and here is a tip for you if you would like to take nice color colorful photos be sure to come to Costa Nova before 2 p.m. because the way the Sun sets uh, it comes from the lagoon all these houses are facing the lagoon so the Sun goes from the lagoon towards the Atlantic Ocean and past 2 p.m. as you can see right now it, the, these buildings cast in shadows so the colors are not as bright and vibrant but if you come here later you can actually watch sunset over the Atlantic Ocean and it is really beautiful Costa Nova is renowned for its seafood restaurant serving fresh catch of the day it is a must to come for lunch or dinner we made it to Canastra do Fidalgo restaurant. It had really good reviews and we came in, we were seated just 10 minutes before the official closing. They close at 3 and then reopen either at 7 or 7.30 for dinner. And they specialize of course on fresh seafood. Our waiter told us our option for fresh catch for today. We chose sea bass and the way it works works is um, it goes by weight he brought us the entire fish to show us what it looks like what the size is like and um, it, it is 65 euros per kilo our fish came we ordered it grilled you can have several options uh, deep fried or grilled or fried and they will prepare it for you to your liking and our server brought the fish for us so we ordered it grilled and he's removing and all the bones so he's uh, pretty much fillets it for us uh, our fish came with two uh, side options so we decided to order vegetables and potatoes here's a tip for you whenever you're in Aveiro and you're ordering fish make sure you ask for garlic butter that's if it doesn't come with it because we know a lot of places just they automatic automatically bring it to you but if they don't ask for garlic butter it complements the fish amazingly and the potatoes oh this is like liquid gold the way they make it to die for the moment you put the fish in your mouth before you even really bite into it you can taste the freshness in your mouth wow incredible this place is definitely JBO approved and we will leave the link down in the description so when you come here, you need to come here. Our total was 45 euros. The fish with two sides was 39 euros plus the one had two beers and we had a bottle of water. Out of this restaurant is just like all other fishermen buildings here in Costa Nova. It is painted striped blue and white. It is really adorable. And the inside, the restaurant is really small and very cozy, decorated with blue and white paintings. With your support, we will continue making informative travel videos like this to help you get the most out of your vacation. Next, we are heading south of Portugal and we'll be going to Nazaré. Obrigado so much for watching and as usual, just, just be, be out, out with us. us.